We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm very pleased to be joined by Musa Abdullah who is from the Kingdom of Bahrain and is also Chair of the Working Group of Plenary during PP14. Musab, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Max. It was a pleasure to be here. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, your work as uh, chairing the working group at the plenary. Can you explain briefly the main tasks and responsibilities of this working group within the context of the overall conference? The plenipotentiary conference is obviously the highest decision-making body of the ITU, and there are three substantive committees. Two of them deal with matters that are mostly internal to the ITU, whether administrative or legal or policy. My group, the working group of the plenary, deals with most policy and legal matters that are external to the ITU and are of relevance to the member states. So it would handle most of the sensitive uh, topics that member states are, are trying to push and address. Now many people are remarking on a very positive atmosphere and a spirit of collaboration here at the Plenipotentiary Conference. Is this something that you also sensed in your work as chair of the working group of plenary? Oh, most certainly. The, the attitude has been immensely supportive, immensely positive, and I think it reflects it in the work of the working group of plenary. We've managed to submit all our texts to the plenary for final approval, and there have been very few comments, which I think strongly shows that everyone's in agreement and everyone's happy with the outcomes. Now, I wanted to ask you, what did you find the most challenging during your work as a chair of the working group of plenary? I know that consensus building is a hallmark of ITU conferences, but can you provide some insights into the consensus building that took place here at the working group plenary? And also, I know that uh, people, uh, as an aside, people have remarked a, a bit about uh, your age and how, how young you are, but I know there's also been a good push for uh, young people's involvement here at the plenipotentiary. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll answer that in two parts. For the, for, with regards to the first part and the, the toughest aspect of the work is the fact that we have over 190 member states, which means that you potentially have over 190 different positions, which you need to respect. These are of concern to the membership. So every position is valid and you need to find a way through the middle of all of that, whereby everyone is comfortable with the outcomes. And even if you can't address some of the concerns raised, you need to at least convey that you respect, you understand and you empathize, but that the global community may or may not agree. So reaching that level of compromise and consensus is very difficult. And a lot of it is based on communication, negotiation, mutual respect, and keeping the channels open. ITU, even though it looks very formal when you're watching the webcasts, a lot of the work is done based on personal relationships. Once you, un once you know the delegates, then you also know how to deal with them. It's not just a meeting of policies, it's also a meeting of personalities. So I think it's the, the most challenging thing is understanding them, understanding their concerns, then addressing them respectfully. And yes, there have been a few comments about my age. Uh, for the record, I'm, I'm 34. But I actually don't think that's unusual. What I do think is unusual is that others are finding it unusual, which uh, it would seem to me that we don't have enough of, of the younger generation involved in the work of the ITU. And I note that there is a, a new resolution that is, uh, that is being uh, approved in this conference on specifically youth and their engagement. And I'd also like to highlight that a lot of the delegations have people in the same age bracket and they are contributing immensely. I mean, their arguments are fantastic. The digital age has really pushed communication out there. So I think we need to re-examine how we perceive things and understand that age is not necessarily a, the biggest indicator of experience anymore. So I think there are a lot of young people in, in this conference who will surprise you. So, Abdullah, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me, Max. It's a pleasure.